Oh, now we're recording. So, you guys wanted a shop tour. Well, here's your very fast shop tour. And you're going to also get kind of a house tour. Because I am flying a tiny whoop that was a gift. And I fixed it and fixed some goggles. And now I'm flying around the house like a madman. And this video is about exactly that. So, it's just kind of an overview just for fun. But check this out. This is like one of the most coolest experiences I've had in a long time. Literally flying around your house. Which is an interesting thought. But uh, it's achievable with not too much. But uh, luckily I don't think I really spent any money. I just spent some time fixing, repairing all the things including the pair of goggles I was wearing. So anyway, if you just uh, yeah watch this whole video then you'll probably enjoy it. Oh, I almost trashed it. Oh, wait for it, wait for it. There it is! What's up, everybody? Ross with ArtAvagerResearch.com. Elijah is flying a simulator. So this video this week's a little different, to say the least. I have been doing some stuff, and I got those done. So then I did some other stuff, and I'll show you what that is. So a friend of mine... Um, I had, uh, hadn't seen him in a long time actually and I had mentioned that I was getting into uh, FPV type of things but it's a very expensive hobby. He said, hey, I got a bunch of broken stuff. Let me just give you a bag of things. Some of it works, some of it don't, blah blah blah. Ultimately, I'm sitting here. Here's my bench. It's a giant mess of things. Little tiny whoops everywhere if you've never seen these. They're actually pretty incredible little tiny pieces of equipment. They're not terribly expensive, but these are all gifts. And uh, we've been flying and got a hold of some goggles that we actually repaired. There's another one sitting here in disrepair. And then this is the ones that is pieces and parts that I actually ended up fixing. So I actually stole the power IC, that integrated circuit right there. Hold on, I have got the camera in my hands. That integrated circuit right there is a 3.3 volt regulator. I stole it off this broken pair and replaced another one. <clears throat> these are burned out. They got hit with the sun or something. Anyway, but these are FPV goggles. They're very expensive, but I have pieces and parts from a friend and um, I pieced together two good working goggles and a third which is mm, kind of working. And I told Elijah if he learns how to fly in the simulator, then he can fly in real life which Dexter has been learning in the simulator and he flew in real life. So it's really cool is you can put an SD card in these FPV goggles, which I have hooked up to the power supply right now. And I've recorded a bunch of cool stuff, such as some real flights. So, I you can record basically your flight, which is like pretty cool. Skip through here pretty neat. So I will, um, I'm going to post these videos in the actual video here as we show it. But I want to give you an introduction as to um, just something I've been doing with the boys. And um, we're learning. We're learning how to have some fun with some FPV and some tiny stuff that you can fly in your house, which is totally crazy. Um, I also have this thing which I picked up for 10 bucks um, last year and I repaired it. And we put an FPV camera on this and flew it. But what I'm learning is C ratings on batteries on these little things are very, very, very important. So this is the factory battery. It comes with this thing and it is a 30 C rated one cell. And then there's this little thing which is what you use on the um, little tiny whoops and it is a 30 slash 60 C I wonder if that's 30 charge, 60 C discharge, I'm not sure. But that's a 250 milliamp hour. This one's a 220 milliamp hour. No, that's a 200 milliamp hour. Then I have these, which are tattoo batteries, which I got from somebody a long time ago. Um, and they don't seem to work very well. They only last for about, I don't know, 30 seconds. So I thought I had a great idea. I thought, you know what? These batteries are about the same size and not too much weight difference. So I put a connector on here by the way, these batteries are for the little yellow plane that I rightly got originally that got me into this hobby. <laughs> well, again, I should say. And yeah, there's no C rating on here, but if you try to run this on this, it lasts for about 10 seconds. 
they have no C rating. They're basically useless for this, which is something I never actually thought about on a tiny battery that the C rating would matter, but yep, big, 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 big difference. You can run a 15 minute flight on that little yellow plane with this. That lasts literally 10 seconds. Anyway, <clears throat> point is, is I'm flying around the house here and um, I will put this video in there and I tried to use this camera and recorded um, us sitting here flying, so I hope it's entertaining. I got other things to edit in video and publish, but I thought, what the heck, I'm just gonna throw this up there, see what you guys think. So anyway, a big blessing, because these goggles are very expensive, so um, the first one I took apart actually was this one. And uh, yeah, I didn't know what I was doing. I ripped off every single button off the top because it's really hard to get these together in a part. Interesting designed product. But yeah, this was uh, used for whatever and they got broken and beat up and parts of electronics burned out and I was able to fix them. So I have two FPV goggles that work. Blessings to the man who handed these to me. You know who you are. Anyway, I won't say any names because uh, it's anonymous at the moment. Look at Elijah, he's learning. Look at him. You getting the hang of it, bud? Feel feel how you just barely move the sticks, though? You know what I mean? He was slamming the sticks, he couldn't fly for nothing, but... Anyway, alright, this video's already getting long, so uh, let's get on with this chaos. I filmed a video of us doing it the first time, and then I'll... I'll just put a bunch of this footage at the end of the... the, the, the video here, but... God bless you guys. Alright, enjoy the rest of this video. Bye-bye. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. Okay, start the recording. Get my remote. Get myself settled. Go for it. Okay, here we go. Okay. Um. <laughs> wow. Oh. Wow. That's cool. Oh. <laughs> oh. Really hit me. above us. What happened? You hit the wall. Got stuck? You hit the wall. Oh. <laughs> what do you think, Elijah? Cool. That's Amazing. crazy, isn't it? Yeah. I wish I had my battery voltage on here. These things don't display it. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> Brought it back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what a fun little thing to do. What a crazy experience. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Elijah? Bonkers, right? Yeah. Okay. I wonder how long that flight was. That was a pretty good flight, though. I was flying. Like, cruising. That was so cool. Can we do it again? That's it. I only got those two batteries that work and that's when I literally have to tape it on. <laughs> this camera, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That was fun. Yeah. Dexter's flying. Fired a few once. It's recording. Remember, arm disarm. And just work on getting in the air and just staying where you are, or go forward slowly. But just give it some throw. Get it, get it, get it. There, yeah, there you go. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. There you go. Okay, don't worry about that throttle. Give it the beans if you have to. Just, just kick it up, kick it up, kick it up. There you go. That's how you do it. Okay, just hold on. Disarm for a sec. Okay, just just take your time. You take a breath. Dinosaur? You guys are distracting. We're yeah. trying to learn. Oh, I didn't know Dexter. Yeah, so go on. I'm trying to learn. Patience. Okay, just take a breath. Remember what you're doing. And remember, left, right's on your throttle stick. Come. Alright, go for it. Um. There you go. And you can kind of just crawl around like that get used to it. <laughs> okay, you can set it up, Elijah. Sorry, we want to get out of the hole. Okay, remember, kick that throttle, get it in here. There you go. That's it. That's it. Getting low? Are you good? I'm good. That's a too low. Okay, just disarm it. Disarm. This is doing really good. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's here. <clears throat> Yeah, I think so. Hold on a second. Thanks to your friends here, buddy. Come on. Good job flying. Can I turn it off? Uh, yeah, uh, let me unplug this battery. There you go. Good job flying. That was great. Nice work. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I had a blast making it. Sometimes you gotta have a little fun in life and just enjoy, you know, doing something with your family. Um, and then we got... Bear Bear, which looks hilarious from this view. 
So that's it for this one. Cheers, guys. God bless you guys. Have a wonderful day, and uh, remember your blessings. Don't worry about what you don't have. Just be thankful for what you do have. Cheers. Wait, are these things gonna glow in the dark by the sides? No, these are lights reflecting. <laughs> Looks like glow in the dark. It's pretty fun going around the curtain there. There's so much stuff hanging from the ceiling, it's just like a death trap for a drone in there. <laughs> and I fell down the stairs. And then I think the next time died. you um, crash it into stuff, the green spot. Okay, well, that was our experience. <laughs> FPVing for the first time. <laughs> okay, let's go get stuff picked up, because we got to get stuff picked up. I'm okay. Gonna <laughs> and, Dexter. What's up? Ah... Are we on? We're on! Well, this will be a quick and easy one, guys. So, I'll start from the bottom. Nice! Thanks! Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it just like that. Um, alright, too bad Grandpa doesn't live closer. Wish I could live closer to my five grandkids, too. Beautiful props. Thanks, Russ. Cheers. I always spell cheers like that when it's supposed to be C H E E R S, and I always spell it the other way around. Anyway, um, okay. This is a long one. Okay, what's up? Three blade prop is looking awesome. I'm wondering if the optimized shape of the hub plates with the machine screws has any measurable effect on the efficiency of the prop. Not really, because generally you always have a mounting point of some kind, and it has some diameter of just deadness. Plus, the RPM, um, the, I should say, the RPM is constant, let's say it's 3000 RPM, but the inside of the blade is moving slower relative to the outside of the, of the, I said blade, I said blade a lot in that video, prop, outside of the prop. So if you think about it, the outside of the prop is going too fast, the inside of the prop is going too slow, which is why they pitch them at a different angle along the length to allow the whole thing to propel correctly. But closer you get to the center, the less it's even doing any good, so probably not. Also does the extra weight uh, that it adds matter? Interestingly enough, so I was at like, I think it was 18 pounds of thrust versus 23 or 25 pounds of thrust. So that way outweighs that, but the efficiency of your like actual power consumption is worse with more blades because you have more drag. So you get higher thrust, but le but more drag, so you have less efficiency but more thrust. So you can back it off and get the same thrust as if you had a two prop, and it kind of balances out. There's some thresholds there, but kind of interesting. I would think not in an airplane. Definitely not good for a multi-copter though. Yeah, that's true. Uh, about the dust explosion, uh, which we were talking about, the vacuum dust explosion, I think the dust explosion from static electricity is practically impossible. Actually, it's not. It's very real. Um, strangely, it's more real than you might think. Theoretically, it could happen, but the chances are so low that honestly I wouldn't worry about it too much. I'm not too worried about it. I don't think it's big enough. Even if it happened this, that scale, at that scale, it would probably be, uh, it would probably only make a poof and a pop. Uh, and pop the hose from the vacuum. So, funny enough, um, I play with enough HHO and hydrogen in my times. So I've had plenty of those happen in the garage. It'd probably be about the same. I still want to try it, though. It'd be a fun thing to try. There are um, anti-static hoses for vacuums, though. Bosch includes them with some of their higher-end Class M and Class H professional industrial vacuums. They are expensive, though. Ooh! Three meters for 160 bucks. Ten feet... Um, wow. Yeah, that's a lot. Uh, alright, well, um, I'll respond to that after this. Cheers, guys. God bless you guys. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, leave some more comments. That last video didn't do very well. I don't really know why. I think it's because I started it the way I started it, but I thought it was funny. Peace and love. Bye.